Okay, so last time we did the eyebrows. Uh, I believe that's where we, we stopped. Um, but if you notice, we don't have a bone to control both eyebrows together, right? Because I mean, there might be a scenario where we need to move the two of them at once. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in, in the head and I'm gonna search for my eyebrows here. Uh, where did I put them? Oh, in the face, brows. And they're already parented, so we'll have to unparent them. And to unparent anything, simply uh, select both the, the bone and the object that it's parented to, in this case, the left eyebrow. And uh, first select the bone, right? Make sure that you actually click on the bone and then right click on the, the point on the, the object and click on disconnect. And once you do that, the bone will be free to go about its business and it's no longer controlling the object. So let's do that for the right eyebrow as well. Let me select this, hold on control and click on the bone. Let me zoom in here. I'm gonna click on the bone, right click on the, the, um, the point on the object and disconnect, All right? And then let me make sure that it's not connected and there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm going to create a child bone here, all right? So this controls that. So I'm just going to switch these bones over. But I also want this to um, be a, a child of this bone. So let me actually rename this bone so we know which bone this is. So I'm gonna come over here, name, and I'm gonna call this brow um, control, let's see, N-T-R-L underscore B. Okay, and uh, so this bone, I'm just gonna click on it and then I'm going to come to where it says parent and I'm gonna search for uh, the bone control bone, the brow control bone, which is this. And once you do that, it will move its position to somewhere within this canvas space here. Just, you can zoom out until you find it. In my case, it, it went here. So I'm just gonna move this over here. Let me zoom in. Uh, the first thing that I want to do, or the next thing that I want to do though, is to position this bone first because it's the parent. And uh, I'm going to offset it. I'm not going to put it directly over here. I'm going to just offset it a bit, like maybe here. Let me move this down. And I'm going to rotate this bone. So it's 90, change that to zero. I'm going to position it over the brow. Doesn't really matter where you put it, as long as it's on the brow. I'm going to move this one over here, like so. And uh, yeah, that is looking good to me. And uh, let me just go ahead and scale these down because I believe they're too tall. And uh, yeah, that is okay to me. All right, so we'll have to reparent those bones. So I'm gonna click on the brow and I'm gonna click on the bones here, zoom in. And uh, we already know how to do this. Link to bone, we'll go over here, right, bo uh, right brow, select my Point here, right click on the bone, link to bone. And now we can do our test. So if I move this, it moves. And if I do this, it moves individually. Okay, so that is looking fine. And uh, let me just do one more test on the head to see that the bones move along with the head. Yeah, and that is looking okay to me. All right, so now that that is fixed, let's go in and create our eyebrow shapes. So, uh, at the end of the last video, I did one of the eyebrows, I believe. So if I open up the left brow here, we can see that we already have that shape there. So um, the idea is that we'll, we're going to create multiple shapes for the brow, right? So that you can switch between them. So I'm just gonna copy this. So Control C, Control V, to copy and paste. And uh, I'm going to go in this order, one, two, three, etc. So I'm gonna change this one to two. Like so. So this will be my sh my second shape and I'm just gonna turn off the first shape so that it doesn't get in the way. I'm gonna come in this one and I'm gonna change the shape. And I think I'm gonna go for a sad bro, like something like this, sad. Uh, and this is where your creativity will come into play. Feel free to experiment and uh, make it look um, exactly like how you would like um, want it to look. And uh, if we had a character sheet, this would already be on the character sheet, so we could, would know how exactly to um, to create this shape here. But we, you know, I didn't, ha I don't have a character sheet, so we'll just have to 
I guess freestyle it or win it. Let me move this in. Let me move this in. Oops, undo. Move this in like so. I think that is okay with me. Yeah. Um, it's not the best of shapes, but I think that can work as a sad bro. Uh, okay, so let me turn on back my first bro here and let me show you um, how this would work in action. Okay, so select the left bro um, layer and then in its properties, we want to go to where it says Z range and we want to left click here to tick it to turn it on. And I'm going to open this up so we can see visually what is happening here. So this shape is at a Z depth of zero and the next shape is at a Z depth of one. So to switch between them, all we would need to do is make sure that you're on the, the folder that contains both those shapes and where it says Z range position, if I, right now we're on zero. So if I should type one, it would change to the second one there. Okay. And this will, this will work as our switch. Uh, alternatively, you could create a switch, um, a switch layer group and um, use that as well. Uh, but anyway, I like doing it this way. All right, so we have one bro. Let me just go ahead and create another one. So I'm going to, um, oh, let me turn off the Z range here until I finish creating all the shapes. So let me just come here, change this to three. And um, I guess I'm gonna go, hmm, let me go, well, let me actually delete yeah. this group and I'm going to duplicate the shape one. Let me move this down and then make it shape three because I want to start from the original here. And then I'm going to go, instead of going down, I'm gonna go up to have like a surprise brow, like so. And uh, you want to watch the thickness. You don't want it to be um, too thick or too skinny um, and too far off from the original shape. So let me move this in one, two. Move this in by two increments here. And I think I'm gonna move this down like so. Yeah, and that is looking, oh, let me move this over here like so. And uh, let me move this up even more all right so that is looking fine so now we have three shapes so let me go ahead and click on the overall group layer and turn back z range and uh, let me switch that to two we can see our surprised brow going on there and if we switch to one and of course if we switch to zero all right so we got that going on now, let me click on save. Always remember to save. All right, so um, instead of coming over here and recreating all those shapes again, what we can do is just copy and paste and just change the name, all right? So that will be pretty, pretty cool. So let me close this and show you how it's done. Let me open up my bro, my right bro here, and let me go ahead and group this just as I did the first one. And uh, let me rename it here. Let me just copy this name and uh, come in here and just rename this to, oh, uh, I'll have to change the name on all of these actually. So this is the left bro. So let me indicate that it's the left. So I'm gonna say bro underscore L, okay. And uh, I'm just going to go here and copy and paste it on all of these shapes here. This is bro shape three, let me paste. All right, so we know that this is the left bro. Uh, I'm just checking to see that I named them all correctly. Okay, and that is looking fine. So let me come here and just change this to R and voila. All right, so now I'm just going to open up the left bro shapes and I'm gonna copy shape two and three because we already have a shape one. So I'm just gonna control C copy these let me close that open this up and I'm gonna click on this um, the first shape here and control V to paste to them but of course we want them to come underneath this so that um, it will be in line with our left bro here so yes yeah, so I just moved them down so we have one two three in that order and uh, we're seeing all of them here but again don't worry uh, because we can just close this up and then click on um, Z range 
and uh, let's go ahead and check this one two and there we go and that is done and uh, you can continue to add more and more shapes as you go okay uh, you can add as many shapes as you want all right it's it's pretty much unlimited uh, now the next one that I want to move on to is the eyes and pretty much it's the same exact technique that we we have done for the eyebrow all right so you can go ahead and do that on your own um, I'm just gonna show you how I would do the first eye here for the left eye and uh, let me just select all of these and uh, group them in a folder and I'm gonna call this I underscore L underscore shapes let me call it shapes underscore one okay and uh, yeah I believe that is fine and then uh, no, the style is entirely up to you, you know, how the eye closes, right? You can determine how you want the eye to close. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you here. I'm just gonna uh, Control-C, Control-V here. And I'm going to change this to two. Let me turn off my first one here. And I'm gonna go in on the, the outline here. And then I'm just gonna select all of these points here and just move them down, uh, maybe by one, two, three, four, five, six increments. All right, and then I'm gonna close that, copy, paste, change this one to three, and I'm going to change the shape again. Let's move it down, one, two, three, four, five, six, mm, maybe seven, eight. All right, let me go with there, okay. Um, I don't want a lot of shapes here, so, but, let me see how far we'll go. Four. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna select all of these here. Just move them. To, oops. I think I made a mistake. Let me go back. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I selected the wrong thing. So. Wait. Oh, I, I still had the third one turned on. So. I will see that underneath. All right, so we're good now. So let me open this up and let me select these and move it down like so. And uh, don't worry if <laughs> this happens to you. I just uh, selected too many points there. So I'm just gonna select these two and just move them back up like this. All right, so we have four shapes and uh, hmm, I think I, I'm just gonna have five shapes overall because we still need one where the eye is closed. I didn't want so many shapes, but um, it just work out, worked out this way. So I'm just gonna select this here, move it down like so. I'm gonna move it all the way down to here. And I'm gonna move these up like so. Oops, well, you know what? I think I'm wasting too much time here. Let me just go ahead and draw a new shape here like so. Actually, let me do that again. Let me do that again. Let me accept, then undo. I'm gonna draw my new shape. So I'm gonna bam, bam, and then enter to accept that. And I'm going to just right click here and uh, insert item and keep shape. And I'm just gonna move this down like so. Right, let me move this up to match our first, um, our first drawing there, move this over. All right, so now, and uh, of course we need to change the color. Let me save, uh, and then we need to change the color here. So I'm just going to select this here, and then I'm gonna delete this one because we no longer need it. And I'm going to reduce the thickness on the, the end of this. So maybe I'm gonna go to 0 0.5, right? And uh, for this one, I'm going to also go to 0 0.5. So 0 0.5, all right, and that is looking fine to me. I think I'm okay with that. So let me zoom out now and see what that looks like. All right, so let me turn on all of these shapes and let me select the Z range here. And uh, let me go through each of them to see what they look like. So one, two, three, four. All right, that is looking fine to me. And it's still looking a bit uh, small. 
So I might actually go in and increase the thickness after all. So I'm going to change the width to two and I'm going to increase these by one. One and one. Yeah, I think I'm liking that. So here's your homework. Uh, <laughs> do the right eye the same way that I did the left eye. And you know, of course, you'll have the, the brows that I did before as your reference. This video is getting way too long. So of course, we will continue in the next part. So that's it for this one. And I will see you in the next video.